short video to compare the performance of two popular compact concealed carry guns and a full-size duty carry gun, all from the same maker. We have the Smith & Wesson Shield in 9mm, the Smith & Wesson J-Frame in 357, which I'll be shooting 38s out of, and an M&P 9, which is in 9mm. I'll be shooting the Shield with a full-size 8-shot mag for this drill. The holsters I'll be using for this comparison are from left to right a custom Kydex inside the waistband holster for the shield, a simple Uncle Mike's inside the waistband cloth holster for the J-frame, and a CompTAC C-TAC inside the waistband holster for the uh, M&P 9. For this comparison I'll be using three IDPA targets set up at three yards, nine shots fired, I'm going to fire uh, one to the body on each initially in what IDPA calls a uh, uh, tactical sequence and then uh, go back and finish up the body shots, head shots last. If I was shooting this in a competition I would probably want to shoot one on each head first and then two to the body on each. That would be much faster but uh, for the sake of this drill we're going to run it a little more realistically and uh, we'll see what the shield does up first. The three oh four. That's a two ninety eight. I'm going to try that same drill now with the J frame. Obviously, we don't have enough rounds in it to uh, shoot all nine, so I'm um, going to have to do a reload. Seven eighty six. Nine five zero. All right, that was a seven seventy two. Not terrible. So in conclusion, I found the shield was surprisingly fast at this particular drill and with the extended magazine handled like a full-size gun, it was very shootable. The J-frame required the most work to run rapidly and the reloads are much slower with this than the other guns, the reload being mandatory due to its five-shot capacity on this particular drill and the heavy double action only trigger pull uh, didn't allow me to run the gun as fast as, as the others. Uh, the full-size MP9 was the fastest gun on this drill, uh, but not much faster than the shield. Uh, ran a best time with the shield of a 2.98 and the best time with the MP9 at a 2.78.